New calls for a boycott of Ben and Jerry's after the famously woke company took a shot at America on Independence Day. Yeah, how about that? The ice cream juggernaut taking it to Twitter on July 4th with a message that angered millions of people on social media, tweeting, quote, This 4th of July, it's high time. We recognize that the U.S. exists on stolen indigenous land and commit to returning it. Learn more and take action now. And that link you see at the bottom, it takes you to a statement uh, that on the company's website explaining their tweet. They said, quote, here's why we need to start with Mount Rushmore. Long before South Dakota had become a state, long before the faces of our four American presidents were blasted into the side of Mount Rushmore, that mountain was known as Tunkesila Sakpe, the six grandfathers to the Lakota Sioux, a holy mountain that rises up from the Black Hills, land they consider sacred. Ben & Jerry's has long been a highly political company. They've come out with new flavors in the name of social justice, like Justice Remix in the name of prison reform and changes brewing after the death of George Floyd. The founders de described themselves as activists, but many people are viewing this tweet as a direct attack on the founding of the United States of America and questioning why they decided to put this out on July 4th. Folks like country music legend and frequent National Report guest John Rich tweeting this, Make Ben and Jerry's Bud Light again. Thousands of other tweets went out with the hashtag Boycott Ben and Jerry's. Original founders Ben Cohen and Jerry Greenwood sold the company to the British multinational corporation Unilever a few years ago, but they still act as the marketing face of the company. Some Native American groups have protested over Mount Rushmore in the past. Earlier this year, Republicans filed a bill to protect it from being torn down. Imagine that, that having to happen there. Rich Valdez is the host of Rich Valdez, America at Night. Good to see you, Rich. Thanks so much for coming. Yes, I sir. appreciate that. Um, hard to believe we're talking about ice cream and controversy, but here they are essentially mixing together once again. You know, Ben and Jerry's, these guys are infamous for being woke, but I think right now they're like, they're thinking, kind of what John Rich was saying, they want to see, is it true? If you go woke, do you really go broke? And I think this mm. is a chance for the American people to, to really vote with their wallets and say, hey, you know what? If I never had another pint of Ben and Jerry's, I'd be okay. I was going to say, support local, right? There are so many great local ice cream shops, especially this time of year. But I saw a tweet, too. A lot of people poking fun at this, saying, Ben and Jerry's, you realize you stole the, you stole the milk from the cows. You better return that milk. Come on. <laughs> you can't dish it. You know? That's funny. Um, but it does make you wonder, you know, will this have an impact when it comes to sales? You know, this company has taken political stances in the past that might not align with traditionally conservative consumers. Do you think this will be the tipping point? especially when you post it on July 4th. Yeah, again, I can only hope that it will be, but it would be an interesting case study to see if that, in fact, is going to be the case. Will Ben & Jerry's be the one company that goes woke and doesn't go broke? Mm. All right. Only time will tell. Rich is staying with us, though, to weigh in on a few more topics.